Well, pre-season testing, of course, is always important, but especially so this year because F1 really has undergone a whole batch of changes. World Sports' Alex Thomas has been speaking about that with former champ Jody Schechter. I think all the new rules, uh, and it's so much different to, I think that's the biggest change in probably in Formula One history, uh, that you'll see, you see teams that aren't normally up front, could be up front. So you see a, a bit of a change in... Yeah, very much so, I think. Uh, with, with, with such big changes, you can see teams that were at the back of the grid could be near the front. Because Red Bull have dominated the sport for so many years, but they've been trying to yeah. play it cool. So the problems aren't as bad as everyone's saying. Do you think they're a little bit concerned on this? Well, yeah, absolutely. Their test, their test has been terrible, uh, really bad. Um, I'm sure by the end of the season they're going to be up there. But uh, th that's been a really tough start for them from what I can see, yeah. And was it the same with Formula One back in your day? Were there always m lots of changes season by season? Bernie Eccleston was still in charge then. Yeah, no, no, no there's, I've ne there's never been as big a change as it is, as it is n now. And I mean, I think it's great because it's for the environment. Th they are really pushing the edge of efficiencies. And I think this era will show more um, technology going from Formula One down to, the, to road cars than ever in the past. But do they have to be careful that they're still the premier motorsport on the planet? Yeah, I think, that, well, exactly. I think that's the thing, is it, is it going to be... Certainly at the beginning, I think it's going to be a bit like long-distance racing used to be. You, you've got to finish, and if you finish with a car that's still running OK, you're going to be up front, and I think that'll probably be right for the first few races. Um, but, yeah, I think once they get the, those, the bugs sorted out, uh, it'll become racing. You've got the top drivers, you've got the top engineers, it still becomes tough racing. Oh, and one of the differences from when you were at your peak in F1 is how big a business Formula One has become around the world. Uh, are you still satisfied that it's as entertaining as it always has been? Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, I mean, in our days, there was a lot of danger and, and, and people were getting killed and hurt, and I think some people think that was more, more exciting to watch. Um, but, you know, I think the racing is exciting. I think when somebody dominates, like... Um, oh, Sebastian Vettel has. Yeah, Vettel. And like uh, Michael Schumacher did before. People say, well, it's boring and how can we change it so we can... Well, you've got the best driver and the best cars. They're going to get to the top somehow. So you don't think the sport's suffering from a lack of characters? Yeah, I do, actually. I, I think from... Because they're so restrictive in what they can say. Uh, but the world's got a bit like that, hasn't it? So in our day, you, I got the Lemon Prize three years in a row, which was the most go on. Uh, uncooperative to, 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 to the press. But, but you could say what you liked in those days. Except for Ferrari, you could never insult a car, actually. <laughs> no, of course, Ferrari's a, a law unto itself.